Today on our 2010 Chevrolet Impala, we're going to be installing the Kurt Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number C12252. Now here's what our hitch looks like installed on our vehicle. Now we'll go ahead and give you a couple measurements in helping you choose some accessories for your hitch, such as a ball mount, a bicycle rack, or a cargo carrier. From the top of the opening in the receiver to the ground, we have 13 and a quarter inches. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper, we have about seven inches. Now let's go ahead and install our hitch. Now we're gonna begin our installation by first installing a safety strap that'll help support the exhaust. Next, we're gonna to need to remove three rubber exhaust hangers. There's two back here at the back side of the muffler, and there's one up a little bit farther. Now, in order to remove our rubber exhaust hangers, we're gonna use a little bit of spray lubricant and a large pry bar. Next, we can go ahead and use our safety strap to go ahead and lower the exhaust down out of the way a little bit. Next, let's go ahead and point out our mounting locations for our hitch. There's a total of six mounting locations, three on each side. We'll begin over here on the passenger side. We'll be using this hole right here, right here, and this one right here. Now, over here on the driver's side, it'll be this hole here here and right here. Next let's go ahead and point out the hardware used on each of our frame rails. So the two locations here and here on both the driver and passenger side will use the same hardware. It'll be a half inch by inch and a quarter long carriage bolt, square hole spacer block, and a half inch flange nut. So here's what it'll look like in the frame, these locations. Now, in order to get our carriage bolt and spacer block into the vehicle's frame, we'll be using the access hole located here on both sides. We'll be using a bolt leader or a fish wire to do that. Let's go ahead and install our hardware at these two locations. Now, to install our hardware here at these locations, we'll go ahead and take our bolt leader, go through the mounting location, come out the access hole, take our square hole spacer block, followed by the carriage bolt. Put those both on the bolt leader. Push them both up into the vehicle's frame and pull down into position. We'll go ahead and repeat the same process at this location as well as the two over on the passenger side. Now for the middle two mounting locations, we'll be using a half inch carriage bolt, another square hole spacer block, and a half inch flange nut. It'll sit up in there like that. Now in order to get the carriage bolt and spacer block into this mounting location, we'll be using this access hole here, and we'll again be using the fish wire or the bolt leader. Go ahead and install our hardware at these two locations. So we'll go through the mounting location, 
then come out the access hole, take our square hole spacer block, put it on the bolt leader, followed by the carriage bolt. Both into the vehicle's frame. And pull it down into position. Go ahead and repeat the same process over on the passenger side. Now with all of our hardware installed in the vehicle's frame, it's a good idea to get an extra set of hands to help you raise the hitch up into position. Once you have the hitch up into position, you can go ahead and loosely install all the flange nuts, followed by tightening them down. And then torquing to the manufacturer's specification. Next we'll go ahead and put our rubber exhaust hangers back in place. Go ahead and use our safety strap to help pull the exhaust back up. And then we can reconnect our rubber exhaust hanger. We can then remove the safety strap. And that'll do it for our installation of the Kurt Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number C12252 on our 2010 Chevrolet Impala.